current war in Ukraine has affected countries all around the world. But when it comes to economic impact, emerging markets in particular face added risks. Let's look at why. Russia and Ukraine are major commodity producers, and the combination of sanctions and disruptions in production have led to a drop in supply. The result has been major global price hikes for food and energy. Wheat, for example, has reached record prices as Russia and Ukraine supply 30% of global exports. Oil and gas prices have soared as well. These changes differ in impact across emerging markets. Some emerging market exporters, like the Gulf economies, stand to benefit from rising proceeds, while large importers of these commodities, like Georgia, Egypt, and Poland, could be badly hit. But these price rises are likely to increase inflation in all emerging and advanced economies. And when countries face high inflation, central banks are usually pressed to raise interest rates, which typically reduces demand and puts the brakes on GDP growth. This will set emerging markets back in their already slow recovery from the pandemic, while making it more expensive to pay their debts. Higher interest rates in advanced economies and an increase in geopolitical risk could also lead investors to move capital away from emerging markets and towards advanced economies to chase rising, safer returns. This would result in emerging market currencies depreciating, adding to the already accelerating inflation. It could also raise the cost of borrowing across emerging markets and increase the burden of debt. For countries that had high debt even before the war, this could be especially challenging. Policymakers will need to navigate difficult trade-offs between managing inflation and debt levels while also supporting vulnerable households and economic activity.